Daddy Cub, your host, Ray. Welcome back to Level Games. We're playing on Life is Strange True Colors. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. We're going to see uh, what we can do before we go down and talk to Jed. Hopefully, this goes well because that uh, interview with Officer Pike did not. We were blackmailed, which that's what Tyson's good at doing, blackmailing everyone. So I'm say blackmail Pike, too. Let's see what we can get into and how he wants to go. Ducky. Hope he's doing okay. Riley probably can't help me hack Typhon. Sit down. Think about everything. I had no idea what I was getting into, did I? You kind of did. Buried secrets, evil mining corporations. But again, death threats. Anyone who discovers what's going on in my pit. We came close, though. Closer so than Typhon get... thought we would. Is that everything? Closer than, than I thought I would. Every time I think it's done talking, it's ready to stand up. This can't be the end. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling. That's something else, Jeff and Alex, bravo, wow, wow, wow. Glad we had a blast for a week. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves I got, it. I got the Grace Princess after all. Really good to see you out there with your best during this time of movie. Thank you for your Ducky. Haven Springs, what a festival. Haven to the Ace Race Team. It was special for me too, Steph. That I enjoy that ice cream. cream. Maybe this is what I need. Someplace for me to follow you. They want to see. 
tore a wall down in Berlin, repair a wall down too, or what if what I needed. Back on the road, but like, finally, you're in a good luck charm. Consider taking a risk if you want. I wonder if you would adopt a route with me. We did not take hikes here. There's a threat that keeps you awake at night and all the things are terrified. I heard that I want to be living in the depths of your secret. What the thing you want to say? I thought I knew what hiking was, but really, I had no idea. Hiking is the terrifying thing. The horror of the woods is the paralyzed audience. Wrapped in and made us watch the same inevitable photograph. They formed again, again, again. What have you seen, Pike? You forgave you told me what secret. Did you have to keep? How long did you have to keep? I thought of Charlotte, what I've done here ain't gonna help. It would help, but oh god, she's so off. I don't think I'll get to that again with me now, but friends are stuck with me. I don't want to get hurt, keep your head down, Pike, and just say no. Rack girl, keep your head down with half the oil girl. Come to shake the curb, stop your name on the list. Can't go through this again. Alright. We're caught up there. Looks glass. like I'm on my own now. I don't want to drag Ryan and Stefan any deeper. I've already dragged in. Yep. The tables seem to have turned, alright. This isn't over, Gabe. I promise. Jen was another to the flash. So at least the coffee's also. I guess the night wasn't all bad. <laughs> Can't wait to have nightmares tonight. I think I'm all played out for tonight. Maybe I'll just bike out to the mine, dig up some answers myself. Technically you could. It wouldn't go good. I look better than I feel. Might right, as well go talk to Jed now. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. This is gonna go well. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Threatened Brian. Killed Gabe. Take a shot. I'd start with the sun. I've been chasing proof that Typhon was responsible for Gabe's death. And I found out they buried something. A secret. Now they're threatening me. And Steph. And Ryan. Threatened? How? Pike showed me photos. 
Typhon's been watching us. I signed something just to get them off of Stefan Ryan. I promised I wouldn't press charges against Typhon, but I'm not giving up, Jed. Not ever. Well, it's good to know. I know what they're hiding. Jed knows. Please, Jed, what's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the what? devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. What was it? I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Did it tell me? I don't have to go to the sun. You said that we are not going to let you go. Chad, why are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. God, crap. Jed, what are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those it. pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you, you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Jed was part of it all along. That's Jack. Go to hell. That's so fun. I had a weird suspicion the way Jack responded to what's going on with Gabe. That's so messed up. So, I can guess Alex is fine. Only time to think people did that. Alex gave her rose instead. Alex gave her rose instead. Alex gave her rose. Not that I'm missing any bonfire. Alex took a moment to reflect before talking to Jed. Jed and Alex moves about moving to the ocean. Jed and Alex share a kiss, hug, and be on the rooftop. Brandon and Alex on the rooftop. 
grind it. Really good for festival, Alex Field, Elvis Brown, Riley Stay. Wow. I didn't know you could actually make them an epic hill. Some of these are interesting. So Alec is shot and went down a well. Down to the underside of Hazel Mountain. Welcome back, Alex. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? To be afraid, not to be afraid of my mother. Meaning of home. Oh, meaning of home. I thought I learned what it means to make a place your home. That must have felt like quite the victory. I thought you got shot. Let's talk about how it feels to know that you might have been wrong. <sighs> I suppose I'm proud of you for trying. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. But Alex, you're right back where you started. You're wrong. She technically dead. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. What the fuck? How are you feeling about the truth of time? Is that what I look like? Really? Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Not for you yet. <laughs> These don't belong to Dr. Lin. A tuning peg.
Dr. Lin always recorded our... records our sessions. Jedward prays as a hero. He doesn't like talking about it. He knows all the stuff going on. I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. I guess that's me. Case number 53322. Throwing down a what? Alex experiences a detail and robust delusion that she was able to read other people's concentration to his job. Because of the ability to do his to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony of someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex, her role as a most character. Had she not returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts to fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten some hurt. Is my belief that Alex's delusions constitute a threat to her constitutional well being as well as those of others. As such, I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit, her body shattered against each jutting board, and air is burnt until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world. This is, in my professional opinion, the most humane thing you could do for me. That's what you have to Anything else? Peace out. Wake up in the pit and go. Of course. He's literally look at everything else. Not setting out that way. Um, How are you Alex Chen. My guitar case has never heard of me. Sure. Just a number in the system. 
Gabe gave me this guitar, but he never heard me play it. The hell? Can't play if I can't tune. You're also shot. Back and healthy hands on her mind. Psst. Alex. Gabe. You're dead. So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Where are we? I want to say... a hospital? Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep. Definitely a hospital. Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14, our mother is sick, so is our father, but it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Are you 
Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. She was right over there, waiting for me. We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky. There it is. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. Gabe and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. Gabe, Alex, I need you to listen very carefully. We got some scary news today, and I'm going to be spending some time at the hospital. What? Mom, are you okay? Hush now, it's going to be okay. Do you understand me? Things will be... It was always too hot in this room. She's just on the other side. How many nights did dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? There's something so weird and scary about watching your dad cry. Mom, every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. Hi, Mom. <coughs> Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. The both of you. Dad. Behave. <sighs> Alex. Go check on your mother. Okay. Wait. Did I miss something? No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. Oh. 
We spent so much time in here that I basically memorized every article. Gabe told me it was full of needles. It scared me to death. Hi, Mom. Mom. Water, Alex. Get her some water. I want to know what the big cover of Jeb is this photo. Thank you. You almost never cry, even when you are very small. Did you know that? That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone? Who is already so strong. No tears, my strong girl. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother, your father, they are going to need you. You have to be strong. Will you do that, Alex? Bro's dead, dad. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Really gotta watch her mom die. Gets into the ancestral home.
Was that the last time you talked to her? Mom. I... I think so. Do you miss her? Gabe, what's going on? You're 11, I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth, trying to defuse us both. Bottom of the ventilation shaft of the mark. This is going to suck so bad. Play your part. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out. And the volume dial was my best friend on days like this. Five. Alex? Hey. It's okay. It's just me. But you know that's not how it went down, right? It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what, Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. This was probably the most expensive thing we owned. It kind of kept me sane. I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. Dad's laundry. I always, at least I managed to hold on to you, Shu Shu. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Gabe and Dad were so loud when they fought. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. Mom's old sewing kit. Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie that was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Thanks for trying, lucky cat. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. 
I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. I can't believe they were ever this happy. Gabe used to steal Dad's beer all the time. It was like we never really touched these after Mom died. She was such a good cook. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Served. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't, I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Almost empty. Almost always. When wasn't this place falling apart? Open that door, system. Yes, I'll follow you. Where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Alex, Dad lost his job again. So we're broke. Again. Don't talk to me that way. <laughs> Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or, or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, what is it gonna take to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could see you now. I don't want to hear about Mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse to be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. <gasps> oh, you hit your daughter. Damn it, Alex. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I... I, I, I didn't... Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, I'm not hurt. <laughs> I can't do this. Dad? Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Someone. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. No. Dad! Oh, 
guess I now know why it feels like this. John Chan. Hey, can I ask you a question? Which orphanage is this? The one in Grant Park? Kind of thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I... I can't. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You are 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, come on. Then you're 13, 14, 15. Orphanages, group homes, must-see rooms in the strange houses of foster parents. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Somewhere along the line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. I don't want this. Alex. Play your part. Gabe's spirit is Play my part. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? You clearly missed him. And I thought he missed me. Hence, stupid. Guess I missed a few days. We weren't allowed to bring blasts into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like hamsters in a cage. We weren't allowed to bring blasts. Pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not going anywhere. God, they put me on so many meds. This is also what said in terms of depression study, United States being an education teacher. So, dude, they seem to be flipping. Wow. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. Did any of them ever work? Some of them helped. A little. I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. Well, maybe they were trying to keep you safe? Guess so. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. You really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? I remember the kid who put this here. Katie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Well, there are my strings. Where's my guitar? How are you holding up, Shu? 
can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Sit on the footwell. Yeah, uh, I... Here he comes setting up tomorrow. Now that I have to do it. Now we're right on the cage and then I'm up to the She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a troubled girl. It says here she's sensitive. What does that mean? I wonder why she's never found a home before. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? <laughs> I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something off, oh. broken, wrong with her. of her brother son of the bell. I'm sorry. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me? Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. Dad left. I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us... You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. Let it go. People leave. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. We make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. No one gets to tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. Up at the bottom of the monkey. Yep. Uh. 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 Uh
Ain't going to stay lit for long. here. Broken ladder. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. Limes growing into mines. Just like Jed said. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. Back to Jed. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. How long has this been down here. You could use the pickaxe and walk it. You're kind of jacked up. No, 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 come on, no, 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 That aura is the only lead I've got. Going down. All right, boys, getting close. Hell divers for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. 
A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No. My teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Steady goes. Steady. Fuck was... Move! Come on! Clear the tunnel! Who's on radio? Jed! Oh. Fuck! Jed! Jed! Oh my god. We Where gotta move! Jed, now! You. There's okay. still men back there! They'll drown! Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out! Make the call, Jed! God damn it! God damn it! Everyone, let's go! Now! <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. This place is possible to call up a uranium slash coal. Your dad was fine, so your dad's dead. Dead me, Chad. Chad! Come back! Chad, you son of a bitch! Chen, you gotta stop, man. Chad! Fuck you, Chad! Come back! It's over, Chen. He's not coming back. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So Jed killed your dad. Could have been responsible for your brother's death in a way. He helped him to get away with him. And he tried to kill you. Can't really go home considering you live in Jed's house. And during my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations. A bar owner who greets every customer by name. It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. History, loyalty, pride. These oh, values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. It's been my privilege 
to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community and we're tremendously excited for its future. Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager to make this official. So time to vote folks and then lunch. That person you shot and threw down the mine is still alive, dipshit. Alex, oh my god, I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Your dad shot you. I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. What? Alex, you're hurt. <sighs> Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. <sighs> and so has Jed Lucan. Alex, what's going on? Fuck you. What the hell happened? Your dad shot her. I was down in the mine last night. I saw what Typhon's been hiding for 12 years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. Tyson wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. Yeah, I tell them. So they decided to bury the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, he tried to kill me too. Why aren't any of you saying anything? They are the all there. We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. These accusations are, well, they're insane. And trying to go into the mine was obviously a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? I can only imagine how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. You know there's proof of the cover-up. You had Pike arrest me to suppress the evidence. Officer Pike arrested you for stealing items from my purse. Perhaps you were looking for evidence? And I found it. Which is why you and Jed tried to threaten me into silence. Dad? Do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? Pull the bullet from no, her. No. I don't. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. 
All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who are trying to help. Again, she has a bullet from your gun. This is an act. You're lying. Again, Please. you have a bullet. I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. I would like to speak. This young lady came to Haven as a stranger, but over the last few weeks, she's become one of us. Now, her story certainly seems unlikely, if not impossible, but she deserves at least an investigation of her claims. We ought to take her seriously. Ducky, you're being unhelpful. Alex, sweetheart, you know our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. Oh, it's it's so hard to admit you need help. Again, she has a bullet from the gun. struggling alone. No. You shouldn't have to go through that. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Again, that's the bullet and her gun. Charlotte. No. Leave me alone. I don't want any more of this. They killed Gabe. What are you trying to do? Take down Typhon? I won't bring him back. All I know is everything falls to shit when you're involved. The reason there's something. something wrong with you, Alex. And now there's something wrong with me. I can't help you. I'm sorry. How about you? Never here. I heard you out last night. You know the deal. Please. You're a cop. You can do something. That's the bullet on the chest. Alex, just just give it up. I got the shitty of him. You coward. <clears throat> Brian, will you back up what I'm saying? Please. Why are you doing this? Yeah, we got the shit in here. My dad is not a murderer. Your dad has a bullet in her chest. Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? I thought we were in this together for Gabe. Come on. Ryan. No. 
I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. Fuck you, Ryan. After everything? Seriously, fuck you. Stop. I know why you tried to kill me. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He made a lot of mistakes. He wasn't a good father. I think he came here trying to be better. But you killed him. And then gave my big brother. He was building a family here, doing it his own way, figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died because of you. And then there's me. Shot it. For so many years, I just wanted to survive, to get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. You tell yourself you're a hero, a strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you were too selfish to say those words out loud. Yeah. There was so much to lose. The love of your wife. The respect of your son. The 
comfort and ease you had walking around the world. If all of that mattered more to you than those men's lives. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. I see the truth about you. Oh, snap. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. It will again. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. You forgive or condemn, right? Yep. And I condemn you. Her whole family's dead because of that. Man. She would have died too. I'm clean or what? Tell you what, she just stay in the apartment for a few months. She turned into a new house. And the news is still coming in on the Titan mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Titan employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Titan CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right up. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. I've got some continued support for you. Hey, Flower. One of the beautiful spring festival things ever who made it to the celebration and celebrating the street out of road. I know something's going to be I think I know someone's about to be fun. Sorry, hang in there, bud. Can we brag to something else? I don't see why not, as long as that uh, man is going to pay that. Do I got the permission to brag about the road we got last night the truck? Oh, well, come on, man. I don't think Ryan is very happy in all of the situation. Kind of is that piece of shit. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that. But it's pretty funny. Lori, Laura, hello. Me and Camille are here in the rock tonight of bed. Right now. Hey man, we don't want the band to set, so we don't want to have any. Hey, no worries, we're going to be our Seth Gingrich, brand of operation, muscles out. Oh, she's going to die when she sees it. 
Ash and my bed. I'm so sorry. I worried you all. Back in here. Hey, it's a nice day. We recently got a lot of time to get up. I need to sleep again. I can try to sleep again. Oh no. Contact the Jason. Call this out in response to Pride and Tender One. That's troubling. Haven't seen her since we posted the late. So Jed was lying after uh, he shot us. Black man, the black man will not be open until once a day. It's kind of kind of slow. See a happy hour. Yes, it's God. Yes, it's all very good. You do realize that expanding the mine operations outside of Haven is potentially a big price. Uh, not considered an environmental impact. Do you have any proof? What do you want? A bibliography? I don't see citation for any of the files. Things like counter changes and things like that's true. Let's talk. Hello, neighbors. Thank you for making us on Spring Festival. Are you found your best? Now, comes another annual tradition cleaning up after yourself. We need a few volunteers to help me spruce up the park in order with the last one's festival. We work again for the committee. For as soon as the town council meeting completed, we drop the meeting time. Sure, why not? I'm down. We're pretty hungover, but the death and I might be recovered by asking for some good luck. Take care of you first, but if you're still on that course, we'd love to have you both. Got open far. Sorry, darling. Hope. It never ends. A statement regarding an ongoing investigation of Haven, Haven Springs. We appreciate the community's concerns and details are still emerging. We cooperate with the state police and department. have exactly as much information as we need. Then, then, Deputy Pike has been suspended pending the investigation. Please direct all inquiries to the state chamber. I don't understand. How could all this happen to the desert of the home? It's not an acceptable statement. Nothing but respect for the boys in blue. Senior boy in beige who dance in type of tent. There's no way the cops say no. There's something not telling us all the name. Drop your tin full of hatches. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. Black Lantern will be remain closed. Regular business is not further notice. Do I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Hello, friend. They decided to open back up for the commission, but that's all looking good to stay busy right now. And the parking yard is always a favorite method. Please get in touch if you want a portrait. I'll try to keep free so you can have an awful discount for the first time in the next year. Should we come to the shop? That works out fine. Hey, Haven, the record period for current new testing applications. Prior to giving the applicant to a previous retail business experience, we have an application on the website. We're conducting interviews this week. Dope. Okay, so I'm definitely applying for trying to fix me off the home. Would you like to tell me that's not that's not way just yet, but to be honest, I'm trying to find an exit for the thing with me. Oh geez, I'm with you. Back at you, kiddo. Wow. Wow. Alright, we'll go with the yes again. Tell Alex is yes to tell Martinez from Rocky Rosette and try to contact you out of the blue on the We've been through a lot. We're working on a story about typhoon controversy. We'd love to speak with you here on and off record about your experiences. I'm not really comfortable talking about it right now. Your captain would be my quarry. Please contact me with numbers to change your mind. Thank you. Your time today is so thank you. Alright. Uh, Alex, you're incredible. I'm down. I'm here for you no matter what. Call me anytime. You know. Thanks for having me back. Of course, probably I'm not looking after everything. Alex Arthur Jones, New York Telegram, and I'm sure in the ongoing type of coverage. Thank you for coming to the show. Sorry, I'm not doing any meter from all of you, but when did you learn that your father lived in Hayden Springs and worked with Jed Lucan? How did it go? Learn that Jed Lucan was responsible for mining activity. Your father, why do you think Ted Lucas is that distant? Paul has been blocked with a no for the future. Arthur's kind of a dick. Right. Alex, I'm sorry, my dad was a hero that so everyone said for years and said so many lies to pull that out and discuss and share why. Type and lie, dad lie, but most of all, I lied to myself. If you've been where my truth was right in front of my eyes, at least come over you, I'm so sorry. I hope one day you'll forgive me. Well, still, do you believe it? Nah. Just remember.
Cameron are putting up. So we did that. On day 37, then, hey, Chen, they need to next take down five from the grave. And imagine Naomi a new job. I'm glad you're okay, really. Ha ha. So, dear Alex, we've been through an awful lot in the past few weeks, but we are resilient and encouraged to see these guys down. I have no doubt that you will weather this affront to your first race as you demonstrated to this year and love the game and the great festival. The moment I see will not forget, but please remember that we are here for you to hear the Russian chat. I know and I appreciate you taking up. You're right, you needed me to roll around and pick it up, leave the bubble. Everyone else in the show, charge and take the video from the Charlotte. Pizza. So here we go, Dan has a club head off. You feel great. Thanks, OMG, I heard it happen. Carol and take the approach to grab a safe. Thanks, buddy. Your mom doing okay. I'm worried about it. She's fine, I think. It's my turn to take care of her now. Maybe that's weird, but I'm pretty sure it's cool. It's all up here in the bank. She's lucky today. Alright. So, this message is Alex. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. I've been playing a lot the last two days, trying to think things through. But I realize it's actually the opposite. When I'm playing is the only time I get to not think. Not think about Jed or Gabe or being betrayed and wanting to forgive but not knowing if I can. Most of all, what I don't think about is me because I've never been good at that. And suddenly, it's the only question that's left. So. I just keep playing. Is that all you got to say? Assuming? I was trying to say, look at the guitar. I play the guitar. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. After what I went through, the middle of the ocean might not be so bad. Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. See? This is why I try to only read the art sections. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. He left it on the landing outside. He still can't even look at me. Yeah, it's tight. Not too low. Ooh, really I'll good. never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. I'm pretty sure my voice was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it. Is it weird that the part of this that bothers me the most is nondescript dive bar? I know now that my inaction in the face of injustice was itself a terrible wrong. And I know that I will never 
never be able to undo the tremendous pain and the loss I caused. I do not ask for forgiveness. The only person who could give that to me is... is gone. Thank you. There are no victories at the end of this. Just more painful truth. Yeah, yeah. You ever swing a pick before, Mr. Chen? John, and no. But I, I'm a hard worker, and I learn fast, and I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. That's kind of horrible. Was Charlotte's response all my fault? Or would she have turned on me no matter what? I felt very close to Ducky after our dance. And Effie felt the same way. The affair was powered by adrenaline that whole morning. Now I'm mostly powered by extra strength Advil. And these. The LARP was two days ago. That doesn't seem possible. Lawyer business card. How's Maybe I do you deserve some help? dollar sign justice, but I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Mankowitz, Mankowitz, and LARP. Head up to the room. Before we do that, we're going to I want to go outside without seeing anyone. That's why God created rooftops. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. And it made me want to be brave, too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. I don't give a shit about playing music or seeing the world. I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... <sighs> Fuck it. I want to stay here, too. You hit away for an answer. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? You've, uh, given me a lot to think about. Well, good. That was the idea. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. So she's addressing you by your last name now. Like, you're not friends. That was weird. All right, just tell me. What? My future. What to do? The night of the Spring Fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road, the excitement of the unknown. 
course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Of course. You're right. I've never had a home before. Friends, a job, a place to live. Really? Have a job? Why would I give that up now? You know? Then again, maybe leaving would be better. What? You're young, you suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Stop it, Gabe. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. Oh, he did. I'm sorry. I know. But here's something. What? It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. You get a job working with Steph at the record store. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum, and more like a home. You do have some friends that are kind of like family. You do got a home. If you leave, Typhon with the team, cover it up. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon. Even of me, begin to fade into the background. The bar will probably change over to somebody different. The rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. Maybe while you play, you wonder what could have been. 
performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world? Or maybe you never think about that much at all. Her silent music. You don't know exactly when it happens, but one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. You don't question it, you don't doubt it, or wonder what might have been. It's your life, the life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course, you already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Yeah, do what? Do what exactly? Become an actual musician? Live in a van? Travel between dingy bars, hawking your SoundCloud, <laughs> pouring your soul to strangers? Van down by the river. Sounds pretty great if you ask me. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. So, what do you think? Huh. I say we stay in Haven. Make it where all three chimps have died when they read them. Stay in Haven. I know what I want. Chilling down by the river. What's up? All right, they're in at the mouth. Watching nature is fun. I live on a hill. I stare down at all the houses and everything down below. Watching the wild turkeys and deer go about their business. Colorado was really pretty. Oh, that looks like that was the game. Uh, 
thanks for tuning in. We're going to go through the credits and see if there's anything afterwards. So please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, comment what you think, and comment section down below. There's a lot of people who went into making this. The Life is Strange games are always really fun, really amazing to I hope there is an Africa scene. These usually have a lot of replay value because your choices fully change the story. I thought we were going with a bad ending, but if you actually got the good ending, it makes you wonder what a bad ending moment would be. Is Alex just dying somewhere? Wow, a lot of people. I think the only person we didn't help was Pike, and in the end, we tossed him his job. Oh, and we also didn't get a couple. Wearing a plants, thoughts, west, digital cells. Super curious what the actual music was in this game because, like, it killed all. See our choices. So Alex stayed in the spring, 56% of people did that. Alex and Alex did. Yeah, only 31. Alex learned that we're meeting at home. Plenty she learned she did. Some members of the council flew with Alex. Everyone in the council. I guess we would have did Pike. And maybe not pissed off at Ellen. Uh, Alex wanted to belong somewhere in the future. Alex took a moment to reflect in the apartment. Alex went to Ryan after Bo. Wow, you can actually get Ryan to stay in the future in the boat. That's crazy. Charlotte turned her back on Alex. I actually want to see how you do that middle one. To lead Alex and couldn't help. Elmore offered to get Alex help. Pike told Alex to give it up. Wow. Ryan believed Alex. Believe Jed during the phone. Ryan and Alex did not get together. We never seem to be chemistry between Ryan and Alex. We always seem to be Alex. Yeah. Steph Bay's is Haven with Alex. Friends vote. Wow. That was an interesting playthrough of uh, Life is Strange. I, I know there's a Steph side of the story. We may try to do that in the future. And we may go through this again and see what other uh, options we may get. But thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe once again and share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Tell me what you think of our final decision. Do you think it was good or bad?
I'll see you guys in the episode. Peace.